the problem 5 a final dried product of 300 kg is required with 6% moisture the feed material has 4.5% moisture calculate the mass of feed material to be taken and the mass of water evaporated so here the given value is not feed the given value is final dried product of 300 kg so let's start drawing the schematic the feed is entering the dryer the water evaporated coming as m2 the final product is termed as m3 the dried product is 300 kg as per the question so the m3 is 300 kg and the feed material has 45 percentage moisture so i am replacing the feed has 45 percentage moisture coming to the dried product it has 6 percentage moisture so the remaining 94 percentage would be the solid amount of water evaporated is not given in the question we are asked to calculate so now let's move on to writing the mass balance equation the first one is overall mass balance equation so the input is equal to output here there is only one input and two output so the two outputs are summed here m1 is equal to m2 plus m3 water balance equation we are multiplying each stream with its respective water percentage so water percentage into m1 which is equal to water percentage into m2 stream plus water percentage of m3 stream into m3 similarly we do for the solid balance we multiply each stream by its respective mass solid percentage so m1 stream will be multiplied by the respective solid percentage similarly for m2 and m3 now we fill this equation with the data we have from the question in this case m1 and m2 is unknown but m3 is known so i am replacing m3 by 300 kg coming to water balance equation the feed has 45 percentage of moisture so 45 percentage into m1 which is equal to the water evaporated is 100 percentage moisture plus 6 percentage moisture in the final product as per the question coming to solid percentage since 45 percentage of moisture in the feed remaining 55 percentage would be solid so i am multiplying each stream by its respective solid percentage here now let's solve the equation now i keep the unknown value in the left hand side and the known value in the right hand side so m1 minus m2 is equal to 300 coming to water balance equation 0.45 times m1 is equal to 1 times of m2 plus 0.06 times m3 coming to solid balance equation 0.55 times m1 which is equal to 0 percentage so 0 into m2 plus 94 percentage is 0.94 0.94 into m3 now in this equation there are two unknown variable here m1 value is known so m2 and m3 there are two unknown variable here coming to this equation m2 is becoming zero because of we are multiplying with zero remaining we have m1 and m3 m3 is given in the question so we can calculate m1 by solving this equation 512.7 kg now i can substitute this m1 value in this equation and i can calculate the unknown m2 value so m2 is equal to m1 minus 300 m1 is 512.7 which we calculated now minus 300 is equals me 212.7 kg as m2 value now we have calculated m1 and m2 m3 is given in the question thus we solve the problem moving on to the last problem in dryer where two dryers are kept in series that is we are drying a product in a dryer and the final product used as a feed for next dryer let's draw the schematic you will understand better let's read the question a wet feed of 800 kg with 50 percentage moisture passes through two dryers in series dryer 1 reduces moisture to 25 percentage dryer 2 reduces its further to 5 percentage calculate mass of product after dryer 1 mass of product after dryer 2 total water evaporated in the process now first we start filling the data for the dryer 1 so the feed quantity as per the question is 800 kg so m1 will be 800 kg and the feed has 50 percentage moisture so the water percentage in the feed is 50 and the remaining 50 would be solid percentage the m2 value we don't know but we know the solid percentage in the water evaporated stream is 0 and the water percentage here is 100 the, in the question it says the dryer 1 reduces the moisture in the dryer 1 so the water content in the product of first dryer is 25 percentage so the remaining must be 75 percentage solid now this dried product is sent as a feed to the next dryer that is dryer 2 now again the water evaporated in this dryer 2 is not known so we are leaving as it is but we know the percentage of solid and water coming to final product solid and water percentage the question says the second dryer reduces it further to 5 percentage wet basis so the water here is 5 percentage 
So the remaining 95 percentage must be solid percentage. To solve this problem, we move one by one. The first dryer one problem. The overall mass balance will be equal to M1 is equal to M2 plus M3. And respectively, we do water balance by multiplying the respective water percentage with each stream. Similarly, for solid mass balance, where we multiply each stream with the respective solid percentage. Let's fill the data with the known values from the question. M1 is known, that is 800 kg. M2 and M3 is unknown to us, so we are leaving as it is. Coming to water balance equation, water percentage in the feed we know, which is 0.5. And uh, water percentage in the M2 stream is 1, 100 percentage. And water percentage in the M3, that is dried product from first dryer, is 25 percentage, which comes to be 0.25. Now I am doing the solid balance for the first dryer. The solid in the M1 stream is 0.5. And M2 stream, there is no solid, which is 0. And M3 stream, which is 0.75. Now, as usual, since M2 is lost here, M1 value is given in the question. I can calculate the M3 value. M1 is 800. M3 value is unknown. I can rearrange to calculate M3, which comes to be 533.3 kg of dried product. Now, I can substitute this M3 value in this overall mass balance equation. And I can calculate M2 value. M2 would be equal to 800 minus M3. M3 value we just calculated which is 533.3 kg. So the value 800 minus 533.3 would be 266.7 kg. So M2 value and M3 value we have calculated. Now we'll move on to second dryer. I have entered the M3 value here and M2 value here. Now again for this dryer 2, let's do the mass balance equation. So the inlet stream is M3 and output stream is M4 and M5. That's why M3 is equal to M4 plus M5. Now we are multiplying each stream by its respective water percentage for water balance equation and each stream by its solid percentage for solid balance equation. Now let's fill the data what we know for this problem. In this problem, M3 value we know, but M4 and M5 we don't know. So hence I am replacing M3 by 533.3 kg, which we found by solving the dryer 1 case. In water balance equation, we know the water percentage in the M3 stream, which is 0.25. And the water percentage in M4 stream is 1, because under percentage. The water percentage in M5 stream is 0.05. Now we do the same for solid mass balance. The solid percentage in M3 stream is 0.75. The solid percentage in M4 is 0, because there is no solid in the vapor. And the solid percentage in M5 stream is 0.95, because it is 95 percentage. Now again, these two equations have two unknown, but this equation M4 is becoming 0 because we are multiplying it with 0. We will be left out with M3 and M5. M3 value we already know in the question. I am replacing M3 by 533.3 kg, which we just calculated here. So M3 value is replaced and M5 can be calculated, which comes to be 421 kg. Since I found M5 value, now I can use overall mass balance equation and I can replace this M5 by this value. Now I am rearranging this equation to find M4, which is 533.3 minus M5, which comes to be 112.3 kg. So now we calculated M4 and M5 value. I hope these problems will give you a good experience in problem solving in drying case. We meet in another video to solve crystallization problem. Thank you.